from the arena, and that's what you did in the figure as well. But with a number of yellow bins dotted around the zoo, you're more than welcome to utilise instead. If you are more than welcome to eat and drink inside the arena, just please be aware the seagulls would very much like to your snacks and sandwiches as well. So keep all of your food nice and close to you, and please do be aware of any seagulls that may be behind you. If you are heading over to the and lastly we would recommend using the concrete stairs to enter and exit the higher tiered seating if you are inside the arena as the benches they can be difficult to climb or be slippery if they are wet. So less than 15 minutes now then before we do start our 10 past and before we do I'd like to tell you all about conservation charity we support here at Blackpool Zoo. It's called the CBD Habitat Foundation and they look after the endangered Mediterranean monk seals. 20 years ago there was less than 100 of these monk seals remaining out in the wild but after 20 years of hard conservation work by this charity there is now about 700 individuals in the wild now so about as many people as that we can fit inside this active oceans arena so not many left still but definitely an improvement that kind of hard work was only possible thanks to visitors such as yourselves and pops even one single penny in either the spinner dome here or the bucket that Christian has at the end of a demonstration. If you have enjoyed it, every single penny does go towards helping those endangered Mediterranean monk seals out in the wild. And welcome to the Active Oceans Arena and our first sea lion demonstration of the day. Thank you very much for joining us on this very sunny day here at Blackpool Zoo. Just that final notice, if you do wish to leave at any point, that's not a problem at all. It's going to ask you to leave from the other side of the arena there. My colleague Christian will be more than happy to help you out with the gates. So at the back of the beach, just heading round to let out a couple of our sea lions. You will spot our trainer for today. His name is Brendan. Please give Brendan a big wave. Hello. To welcome him to the arena. Now you will spot Brendan letting out a couple of our Californian sea lions for you all to meet today. During any demonstrations or training exercises, they're just asked to go to the back of the beach area over there. But a little bit later on, once the demonstrations have finished, all seven of our Californian sea lions will be out in their pool together. So please feel free to head on back through the Active Oceans Arena when we're not carrying out one of our demonstrations to see the whole group together. We're very proud of our group of sea lions here at the zoo. We do have one of them swing around in our pool at the minute. And in fact, over the past long 50 years of Blackpool Zoo's history, we've had well over 40 sea lions born here at the zoo. And one of those sea lions is just heading their way up the ramp there towards the waterfall. So when they reach the waterfall, I'd like you all to please put your hands in the air and please give her a nice big wave hello at the top there. And she will give you a lovely wave back before a very impressive three metre dive into our pool. We're very proud as well of our pool here at Blackpool Zoo. It's one of the largest of its kind in the UK and it is a saltwater pool as well because of course the habitat of the Californian sea lion would be the oceans and coastlines on the west coast of America and they could be found as far north as Canada and as far south as Mexico. We've been joined by our second sea lion now swimming around in their pool and very shortly they will be heading up towards the beach here and I'll introduce you to them. So now the sea lions are nice and comfortable on their stands at the front of the beach. You can all see them much, much clearer now. On the left hand side there, um, I'd like to introduce you to Ruby. And on the right hand side there, we do have low. Please give us a nice big wave below. And we'll get that lovely wave back again. Now, well, unfortunately, sometimes our sea lions do get mistaken for seals. But they're not seals, they are sea lions. But don't worry because we're going to go through a couple of differences between a seal and a sea lion. So over there on Lowe's head, hopefully you can see a small flap of skin there. Sorry, Ruby said there, a small flap of skin. That is in fact her ear, a little bit like our own. Well, as you can see on now, on Lowe's head, this is much, much smaller if they were a seal. It would just be a hole that covered in fur. It'd be quite difficult to spot. So the third difference you're looking out for is whether or not a sea lion has an outer ear. If they do, they are in fact a sea lion. If it's a small hole covered by fur, they are a seal. 
The next difference is a little bit easier to see, and it's all to do with their flippers. So you can see that Lo and Ruby are presenting their flippers to you. If you compare them to the size of Brendan's hand, Brendan's hand's about the size of a seal. So much, much smaller flippers. So that's the second difference you're looking out for to compare the difference between a sea lion and a seal. It's all to do with the size of their flippers. Now these flippers are really important for the sea lions. Of course, they can use them to walk around on land, but also propel themselves to the water at speeds of about 25 miles per hour. So below there, she can walk along the front of the beach and she can even climb stairs and climb rocks if she wanted to. That's all well and good. We've seen how a sea lion would move across the beach there. But we need to be able to see how a seal would move to compare the two. <laughs> so dragging their belly along the ground, the seal would have much, much smaller flippers. They do have little claws on the ends of their flippers they use to help drag their bodies along the ground because their little flippers are much too small to lift their big bodies up off the ground. Let's give Ruby and Ryan a nice big round of applause there. for taking us through those really important differences there between a seal and a sea lion. So here at Blackpool Zoo, we do something called positive reinforcement training. And it's all to do with a target stick. That's how we start it off. So Brendan there, he's got a target stick in his hand. He's got a black handle to it and red end. Being naturally inquisitive animals, the sea lion will touch their nose at the end of that stick. Brendan will give a blow on his whistle and then reward them with a piece. Of fish. So that means the sea lions do that's the correct ability or movement um, that Brendan is asking them to do. And over time, as the bond between trainer and sea lion progresses, Brendan is able to move on to just using his hand as a target or as a signal. And that's what you'll see the majority of the demonstration being done with today. Is Brendan using his hand as one of the many signals or as a target for the sea lions to show you all their natural, incredible abilities that they do have. Now, this kind of training is in fact most important for health checks. So they do take daily health checks um, with our sea lions here at the zoo. So for example, Brendan can ask one of our sea lions to open their mouths there. But you might notice that their teeth are a little bit darker or even black in colour. It's not unusual to see darker or even black coloured teeth with the sea lion. Over time, as they eat all different types of fish, the oils in that fish covers their teeth. <coughs> causing them to turn a darker or even black colour. So not necessarily the sign of some of the healthy teeth there. We can move down the body though with these health checks. And Brendan here is going to ask Ruby to lie down at the front of the beach there to do a nice for a health check. So check her over for any lumps, bumps or scrapes. You can even check the underside of the belly there. As you can see, nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed. It's not causing the sea lions any stress to take uh, these daily health checks that the trainers do carry out with them. Please we can pull the vet out as well, um, again, without making the sea lions uncomfortable or causing any stress, because it is part of their daily routine, and they are entirely used to it. Brendan there as well, asking the sea lions to present their flipper um, to him there. So the fact that it is part of their body, which means we can administer any medication or take any samples from their flipper area. Let's give... Ruby and Lo, a nice big round of applause that's taking us through the really important daily health checks. So here at the zoo as well, we want to make sure we're encouraging as many natural abilities as well with the sea lions. So out in the wild, the sea lions will be hunting fish. There's no fish in our pool, but we can best replicate it using some props. So Ruby over there, she's going to have some hoop props heading towards her. It's a lovely and sunny day here at Blackpool Zoo, so it's a little bit more difficult for the to see at these people travelling towards her, but she can judge speed and distance of fish swimming around in the water or the hoops travelling towards her, which means she can move that long, that powerful, flexible neck around to catch those hoops, just so that she was catching fish out of the water. Let's give her a big round of applause there. Because she can get all three of those hoops. So sea lions are predators, which means that they can judge speed and distance with their eyesight. Now, of course, we want to make sure we're doing this as they would be out in the wild, in the water, using these natural reflexes and abilities. Like I said before, it's a really nice sunny day here, so it's a little bit more difficult for her to see these hoops coming out towards her there, but she's still not managed to get all three of them there. Nice big round of applause. She brings them back up to the front of the beach. So sea lions out in the wild. 
would be hunting over 50 different types of fish. But if you can't see them, the water's dark or murky, there is something else they can use. And that is in fact their whiskers. We can best exercise their whiskers using a bit ball prop here. So Ruby shot her whiskers pointed up to the ball, she's able to feel around the ball there. And she's just learning to balance the ball on the end of her nose. Ever Brendan getting her used to feeling the ball on the end of her nose. Got her whiskers pointed up to the ball there, feeling around it. And eventually she'll be able to learn to balance this ball perfectly on the end of her nose there. So her whiskers are so sensitive that they can feel the vibrations of fish swimming to the water. So if the water was dark, murky, or the sea were unable to see for a different reason, it means that they can still catch their food when they're out in the wild. And their whiskers are a great natural adaptation that they do have. But when the sea lions are swimming around in the water, they're not in fact top of the food chain. There are other animals swimming around in the water that would very much like to predate upon a sea lion. We're not going to tell you what that animal is, instead Ruby is going to do an impersonation of this animal. So focus on Ruby down there in the water. Try and work out what animal we think might be hunting sea lions out in the wild. And after the count of three, I'd like us all to shout it out together. So after the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, did you hear that, Brendan? Brendan, they hear you at all. I think we do a little bit better than that. Girls and boys, make sure your grown-ups are joining in with you. One last time, after the count of three, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Yeah! That was much, much better. And of course, you are quite correct. The tiger shark, the bull shark, and even the great white shark would be hunting at sea lions out in the wild. So, faced with a shark out near the coastlines, they do exactly what we just did there. They jump up onto the nearest bit of land they could. But if they're out in the open water, which they often are, they come across a predator. There is something else that they can do to help them escape. And Lo here is going to show you guys exactly what she would do. So she is porpoising there, she's diving up out of the water, skimming the top and diving back in again. Sea lions, they are marine mammals, so they do need to grab a quick breath of air every now and again. Even though they can hold their breath for up to nine or even ten minutes, um, that porpoising behaviour allows them to keep that momentum of swimming away from a predator or helping them catch um, some fish as well. Now, unfortunately, it's not just the incredible variety of marine life that we find out in the world's oceans. There is something else, and that other thing is plastic pollution. So Brendan's got a plastic water bottle there, and he's going to do something we should never ever do with our rubbish. He's going to throw it into our pool. But Ruby over there, she knows exactly where our rubbish should be going. And of course, that is an the thing. So the loudest round of applause yet for our sea lions. So it's an important message we'd like to leave you with today. Do you have any rubbish with you? Please place it in the bins around the zoo. We've got over 100 bins here at Blackpool Zoo. And just generally, if we can recycle some of that rubbish, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for your attention. 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 Ruby and Lo would like to leave with you all today with, and that is a front flipper stand. Just so you don't forget, just how powerful and strong those front flippers are. So one last big round of applause, please, for Ruby, for Lo, and for Phil Benjamin as well. My name is Harry, and we really hope you have enjoyed a little bit more about our sea lions. Thank you very much for joining us here at Blackpool Zoo today, and we hope you visit us again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Thank you. Close red June.